I recently bought the new Huawei P20 Pro which makes it a good case to check the available augmented reality apps for this smartphone. Here we go! Hey there, I'm Sebastian, this is the Cyber Casual YouTube channel where you get insights and knowledge of cross reality and artificial intelligence. Welcome back to all subscribers, returning visitors, fans and friends and everybody who has ever watched a video of this channel and bonjour madame et monsieur to every new one to this one. In this video it's all about the augmented reality apps for the new Huawei P20 Pro smartphone. And when I talk about augmented reality apps, I talk about those apps who are especially built for augmented reality, not those apps who have augmented reality technology as an additional feature in it. Altogether, I'm talking about five different apps which are right now available in the Play Store for the Huawei P20 Pro. And they are a non-hierarchical order, these are just a random order I choose by default. You will see cool gadgets, some kinds of apps, or just some applications which make an advantage in your everyday life or which you can show somebody else to show an augmented reality technology. And as a side note, I read a lot on forums that people are talking about you need to download the AR Core app from Google to experience augmented reality on an Android smartphone, which is wrong. I mean, it's wrong for the Huawei P20 Pro. I'm not sure about the other smartphones. I'm not that familiar with Android, to be honest. But it's not necessary for the Huawei P20 Pro to install the RR Core app from Google before. And besides that, at the moment, the RR Core app from Google is not available. It's not working for the Huawei P20 Pro. And another cool additional feature of this video, all apps which I will introduce you to you right now are free in the Play Store right now. So let's start with the first one. The first app I'm going to talk about is an application which should be, in my opinion, as a standard installed on every Android phone. And if it wouldn't be from Google, it should be a standard in every smartphone which is ever built right now. And I'm talking about the Google Lens app. The Google Lens app is pretty cool. The Google Lens app is a big advantage for everything you can do with your smartphone. Because if you open the app and scan, for example, this book from Gary Vaynerchuk, it recognizes the title, it recognizes the author, and also you can click on that text and it leads you to the Google page and shows you the Google results for this search term, which is pretty cool. If you have experienced all the standard apps on the Huawei P20 Pro before, you will recognize that there is a similar app from Amazon, which I will not talk about today, but it shows that those augmented reality image recognition apps are very famous and make our, better, our life so much better and should be standard installed for that reason. And as we all know, Google makes a lot in this area. The Google Translation app has an augmented reality feature as well, where you can read, for example, Mandarin signs and translate it into English. But this is a whole different story. The second app, the Wallamy app. Fun fact about that, I had a startup idea which was very similar, but I didn't have the time to realize it. And now it's available and it's cool. And I really like that. With Wallamy, you can create your own street art inside your smartphone. You simply open the app, search for a free place, and then start to paint your picture. You can also add text, you can do, add different layers, and you can create your own street art wherever you want. Then you can publish it and show it to all your friends or to the public. The good thing about this is the streets and walls in real life will not be that disturbed as it maybe is now. The third app is a very cool augmented reality game and I will not talk much about that because I decided I will make a whole video about it. And I'm talking about Ingress. And I think Ingress will be a very big thing in the augmented reality gaming industry. And maybe it can reach the numbers of Pokemon Go. Maybe. I'm not sure about that. We're all not sure about that. But it's a very cool game. You're an, some kind of an agent and you're walking down the street and collect stuff and solve mysteries, let's say. But as I said, I will make a whole another video about this cool application. The fourth app is Landscape AR. You can paint your own map, open the app, scan it, and it will show you 
the map in 3D. As you can see, it's not working that well if you have a white or light background. So I switched to my couch, which is black, and even there, the tracking wasn't that well. But I need to say that the pen I was using wasn't very bad and I need to paint over and over again and in the notes in the description of this app it says you need a very big black pen to paint the map and you need a dark background. I need to say that because I'm pretty sure the app will work better if you can make these things happen. But altogether a very cool app which you can show your friends, your family, your co-workers, everyone who should experience an augmented reality application. And off topic right now, the tracking problems are right now a very big problem in the augmented reality area because before I started to record this video, I was trying out so many different augmented reality apps which are available for the Huawei P20 Pro and these tracking problems were in 90% the problem or the biggest problem why I don't mention that app or why I don't talk about that other app. And I think maybe my room is the reason because the furniture are very light in here and I don't have that good light conditions. But in general, there were so many different apps that didn't work well with the tracking. And I think this should be improved in the future. Okay, off topic. That was an off topic. Let's go to the last one, which should be a standard app as well. The fifth app is Geo Reality. You probably have seen that in, a, in the Maps app of Google before, but it did not work that well as it works in Gear Reality. In Gear Reality, you can open a map and it shows where you are exactly in your location. And then you can click on that button and it will transform into a 3D app. And you can walk through these 3D buildings and can navigate through the whole city in an augmented reality-like area, which is very cool. And I don't show the original footage from my smartphone right now because I don't know that you know where I live. <laughs> That's the only reason. But it works, it works very well, and I like it a lot. So these are the five apps I'm recommending to you if you are a user of the new Huawei P20 Pro to use augmented reality technology or to show augmented reality technology or whatever is the case for the RA technology. And question of the video. What app is missing in your opinion? Is there any augmented reality app you already tried out and works for the Huawei P20 Pro and should be in this list? Or what is your favorite augmented reality app in general? I'm pretty curious about that. Write it down in the comments to let me know. At the end of the video, I must confess that I'm not sure if I will keep the Huawei P20 Pro in general. This has nothing to do with the augmented reality apps which I was talking about now, but I was an Apple user for years, for so many years now, you can see the Apple products around me. Now I switched to Huawei P20 Pro because I want to try it out and it's a very cool smartphone. I like it, but there are some usability things I don't like that much, but it's a topic for a whole different video and I'm not even sure if you're interested about that. But if you're interested in cross-reality or artificial intelligence, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I've already done plenty of videos regarding this and also will make new content about these nice technologies in the future. So stay tuned, activate the bell, I will see you soon, bye bye, tschüss!